Hello. Welcome to Rad System Studio. In today's episode of Ad Page Properties, we're going to learn how to configure input field required validation. I'm currently working with Rad System Studio V4.6. This version provides a shortcut to help us publish our project by clicking the F5 button or clicking on the F5 publish project just above your working space. I'm working with a project I created by name Project 1. This project has three tables which includes customers, products and sales. Now let's get started. On your left hand side, locate database table and select any table of your choice from your project. I'm going to use the sales table on your immediate next column. Locate and click on Add Pages. On the third column from your left, titled Add Page Fields select any field of your choice. We can see the list of fields from the table we selected. I'm going to use quantity for this demonstration because this field needs numbers for validation. Before we continue, let's publish our project and preview in browser. While filling this form, under the quantity and total price field, we can choose to input anything and click submit even though these fields should be numerical and that ain't smart. What if we want to validate these fields to numbers alone? Let's drive back to Rad System Studio, on the quantity field, I'm going to locate the text box type and change it to number. Once done, let's publish our project. Preview in browser. When we refresh our page, we can see that for all those fields we modified, as we type in alphabets, it doesn't respond unless we key in numbers. Now what if we want to submit a null field without getting errors? That takes us to today's topic input field required validation. Let's drive back to Rad System Studio. By default, validation property for all fields is set to required but we can change it from here. We'll use total price field for this demonstration and we'll change the validation requirement to false. Once done, let's publish our project and preview in browser. When we refresh our page, we can see that the asterisk beside total price label is gone, meaning that this particular field is not required. Let's briefly fill this form out and we'll leave the input space for total price field as null and submit. As we can see, we're getting errors so how do we solve this? Let's drive back to Rad System Studio and click on the second button next to your project title which is the Manage Database tool. A dialog box by name Manage Project Database appears, I'm going to select the sales table. We have a column by name null which wasn't ticked for the total price field. Remember we want to leave the total price field as null so we tick slash check this box for this field so it can automatically accept an empty value without errors. I'm going to click on add field so that we can refresh and save changes. Once done, Let's publish our project, preview in browser and refresh our page to pick changes. Let's briefly fill out the form and this time, I'm leaving the total price field as null and submit. As we can see record added successfully. Now we've learned how to configure validation requirement property. Thank you for joining us today, most importantly, if you've not subscribed to our channel, Please subscribe for more tutorial videos like this and don't forget to like, comment and share. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.